Hey guys, welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. Today we got a new global database, NJP database download. Came out a couple hours ago. Uh, I did not do a video today. I know I apologize. And yesterday was just my um, summoning video. Uh, honestly, in the middle of the week, I just didn't do anything. I was out hanging out again. Obviously, summertime, nice weather. Uh, I tried my best to get you guys out good videos. I will definitely have a lot of good content for you over the weekend, especially with the new banners that are coming out. Um, I did do two summons off screen. I didn't get anything good on them. I tried to do it on the Rising Carnival banner. Uh, but without further ado, you don't really want to know about that. Um, let's go ahead and jump into the actual database download. So, new global database download, if you guys aren't aware. We got the new physical Kaioken Goku, the STR Final Form Frieza, uh, the Technique First Form Frieza, and the Agility Goku. Now, all of these units are going to be on the banner that's supposed to drop tomorrow. Uh, we don't know what time it's going to be dropping. There's still a whole bunch of stuff about that. We don't know what's happening here. Um, uh, some stuff was like, oh, it's going to happen in the middle of the day. Others, it's going to happen at night. Um, we, we just don't know when it's actually going to drop. When it drops, uh, well, I'll be at work at no matter what time. Unless it drops at 2 a.m. on Saturday morning, chances are I'm going to be at work unless it drops, like, you know, in a couple hours. Uh, but at that point, I'll be doing my videos in the morning, at least for the summons. But uh, I will let you guys know. Obviously, you guys will probably find out because I'll be at work at the time. But first things first, uh, the, this is the data download that was found out. Um, there's no actual dates on here, which is very interesting. There, uh, I know... Um, uh, Renzi usually has the dates on here. I guess that was removed. Uh, we don't know when this is actually going to happen, but this is these are the units that are coming out. Uh, some of them are going to be on dbz.space, by the way. Shout out to dbz.space. Shout out to the Reddit. Shout out to the Dokkan Battle Wiki, which is so awesome and useful as well. Um, so uh, I want to talk about this. Uh, so we're going to do half of it on dbz.space. The first one that's not available yet is the, this is going to be a non Dokkan Fest exclusive. This is Frieza Final Form. Um, he is going to be extreme strength type key plus 2 HP attack and defense plus 70% which isn't bad He's going to be a decent leader especially for you new guys um, who are just starting out if you don't have anyone good For extreme strength uh, His super attack this time you uh, might die raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage to the enemy uh, Evilness arise attack and defense plus 70% plus an additional attack plus 80% um, Within the same term after receiving an attack so ideally you would want him to be in the first slot uh, you really want to be in that first slot because if he's in that first slot, he's going to be doing uh, additional 80% damage. Uh, that is going to calculate more than just 80% because you're doing the 80% um, on top of the 80, the, well, the 70% that he had. When he Doken Awakens, it's going to be attack and defense plus 80% then additional 100%. Uh, I don't have the math here. I let the guys on the wiki do that. So I will, uh, if, if I do a team building guide with him, when I do a team building guide with him, I will definitely give you the actual calculation. But just know it's not going to just be 100% attack. Your 100% attack is going to be based after, usually, after the attack buff that he gets here. So he's probably going to be doing a ridiculous amount of damage. Plus, his super attack greatly raises attack for so for a card that I don't believe is going to be a Dokkan Fest exclusive. He is going to be doing a ridiculous amount of damage. Uh, his leader ability also changes the uh, strength type key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 90% for extreme strength. Um, makes him really good. He's going to have the fierce battle link skill, so that's going to be d pretty damn awesome for him. Uh, let's go back over here. There we go. So this unit overall... Gonna be pretty damn awesome. I mean, he has a typical freeze of links, so uh, I'm pretty hyped about that. Let's see over here without that. Uh, just like, looks like he's charging into battle, so uh, he does look awesome. I am a big fan of Freeze. He's one of my favorite uh, villains in the series, so I'm not gonna be upset. I really would like to get him. Now, in terms of the other non Doken Fest exclusive, this is gonna be a Goku. He's supposed to be a Kaioken Goku. It looks like his first form is not the Kaioken version, so he will be farmable to Super Attack 10, which is gonna be awesome. Um, actually, you know what? I didn't talk about the stats. Uh, let's go over here, uh, max stats. Uh, where are you? Come here. There you go. Uh, 8,800. Wow, 8,874 attack, 4,146 defense, and 8,069. For non Doku Fest exclusive, not that bad. Uh, now back over here to Kaioken Goku. Uh, you know, we're not going to talk about his Undokan form. Uh, let's just go talk about his Doken Awaken form. Super physical type key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 90%. That's cool. Uh, 20 times K. Oh, that's awesome. 20 times Kaioken Kamehameha. Greatly raises attack for one turn, causes supreme damage to the enemy. All right, that ain't bad. Double-edged sword, attack and defense plus 80%, plus an additional attack plus 20% when uh, each attack received up to 120%. Dude, that's actually freaking crazy. Um, you're going to want this guy to be more in your second slot uh, until, uh, actually all the time. If you're going to be running him primary on your primary rotation, uh, you're going to want to have him in the second slot. And the reason why I say that is because you're going to want his uh, super attack. Oh, actually, you know what? It does just say attack and defense plus 80%, right? He could be in either slot then. It's not one launching a super attack. So, first or second slot doesn't matter. Um, I was going to say, if he had a super attack, when it's like super attack, attack and defense plus 80%, second slot would be the thing. Uh, but, 
when you, he gets attacked, it sucks because it has to be six times. Uh, usually, you could, in a normal battle, uh, that could happen in like two turns really easily. Um, but uh, you, once you use an attack uh, plus 120%, you're going to get the 80% buff, then the additional 120% on top of the 80. So whatever his attack is at 80%, you're getting the 120% multiplier uh, based on the number after the 80% buff. So uh, if you guys are, like I said, the same thing with the Frieza, that's how it's going to work. He also gets Fierce Battle. Pretty awesome unit. Um, I don't think there's anything else. He gets Fierce Battle. His link skills kind of suck. Uh, shocking Speed prepared for battle are pretty good. Saiyan Warrior Race, Kamehameha, the, all in the family kind of stink. And Z Fighters, very limited units that actually have that. Uh, the artwork, I'm not a big fan. I don't like his... I never really liked any of his Kaioken artwork. Um, I always thought it was kind of like... I guess the strain on his body, he's like really... Uh, angry and amped up and stuff. I just never liked the artwork on that in, in terms of in-game. Uh, the next one is going to be the Frieza. Now, this is the special one with the transformations. This is his SSR variant. He does not transform on this SSR variant. Uh, it looks like he is extreme class. Key plus 2, HP, attack, and defense was 100%, which is insane. Uh, super attack, death ball, raises attack and defense, causes immense damage. Passive attack and defense plus 60%, recovers 10%. Oh, wow, 10% HP at the start of the turn. Um, when he Doken awakens... Um, it looks like there's going to be 77 medals in order to Doken Awaken him. Uh, he's going to Doken Awaken it into Glacial Prestige Frieza first form. Oh, that's nice. Um, okay, so he's going to be an extreme leader. That's that's, that's awesome, actually. Uh, extreme class, key plus 3, HP attack, and defense plus 120%. Now, here's the thing about that. I like that, but it looks like it's unrestricted 120%. That means he could be the leader for any extreme class villain. Kind of defeats the purpose of Rose. I mean, Rose is cool, don't get me wrong. But, like... That kind of does defeat the purpose of Rose. Uh, he And he is even better because you don't have to run one of every attribute type. So uh, I kind of feel like they, they, that Rose got the shaft on that. But what can you do, right? Uh, super attack, death beam, raises attack and defense, causes immense damage to the enemy. I wonder if that's a Kaioken effect. Passive skill, smile that summons death. Ooh, that's really crazy. Attack and defense plus 80% recovers 11% HP at the start of turn. Transform when conditions are met. Um, he does get fierce battle on his token awakening. Uh, category, oh, he's in movie bosses. So he's in Resurrected Warriors, movie bosses, and full power. That's pretty crazy. Okay. Um, I know each of his transformations, things change. So we're going to go take a look at each of them. Let me go. Yeah, there we go. And freeze a final form. That's crazy. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the uh, of the transformation mechanic myself, but it's all right. Uh, raises his attack and defense is a 20% boost. 12 key multipliers, 150%. He is really farmable to super attack 10 uh, I just want to see that, that how this works. Uh, yeah, you know what? We're we're not gonna be able. I'm not gonna go into that right now. Anyway, so uh, that's his first form. Now this is his second. Oh wait, what the hell? It doesn't do that. Why? Oh, okay. You have to click on it in order for it to change. Um, all right, cool. So when you use the second form, attack and defense plus uh, attack plus 90 percent, defense plus 60 percent, recovers 12 percent. Transform when conditions are met. There is no. Oh, each transfer animation activates at the start of the following turn. Um, not bad. All right, 12% HP regeneration. He'll actually be really good on an extreme tech type. Uh, I actually, you know what? Now I want to get him, and the reason is because he'll be very, very useful on Super Battle Road. Those events take forever, and he'll uh, consistently transform. Uh, his attack and defense buffs are going to be insane, and their HP regeneration is going to be awesome. Very, very good for that for uh, HP regeneration for Super Battle Road. Uh, when he transforms to his third form, raises attack and defense, immense damage. Uh, attack plus 100%. Defense plus 40%, recovers 13% HP. Okay. Um, then, let's see. Does this, does this change at all? Uh, so it's what? Attack is uh, 11,870. Nope, it's the same. So, uh, passive skill now, attack plus 110. Defense plus 20%. Oh, his defense goes down while his attack goes up. But he increases his HP regeneration. Not bad. All right, cool. And then Frieza's uh, golden form. Which is interesting that he doesn't have any type of damage reduction or defensive buff because all of his other ones usually, well, most of them do. Uh, attack plus 120%, which is insane, which with immense damage. He doesn't increase his uh, attack and defense. So that's interesting. I wonder, like, so when it comes to that, do you really want to give him double attacks? I feel like giving him double attacks might be a little bit more optimal because if he's continuously raising his attack and defense and he gets a double super attack off, he's going to consistently increase his attack until he gets to his final form or his golden form. Um, 8, 15% HP regeneration is really good. Key plus 12 uh, and 100% chance of performing a critical hit once. Um, oh, as soon as he becomes... Okay, so he gets a guaranteed super attack as soon as he transforms to this form. And he guaranteed a critical hit, which is awesome. Um, overall, pretty good. Uh, I don't know if I would want to give him full additionals or not, though. That's that's, that's going to be a difficult choice. I'm going to go to the Reddit for that one in the future. 
future. I uh, want to do a team building guide, I guess, but that's going to be, that's a very, very interesting question. Let me know what you guys think about down, that, that down in the comments below. Um, that's back to the freezer, Frieza, I said, I said freezer. <laughs> um, all right, cool. So this is the Goku over here. This is the STR Goku that is going to be a transformation. Uh, this guy is another, he's a super class leader, which is also interesting. Um, raises attack and defense. Attack and defense will 60% reduce damage received by 20%. Not bad. Uh, pure Saiyan category only. 12 key multiple is 140%. Now, when he Doken awakens, he Doken awakens into Super Saiyan Goku, which is awesome. Uh, so his leader ability, super class key, plus 3 HP, attack, and defense, plus 120. Also replaces the Tech Vegito Blue, uh, which I also don't have. I kind of hope he's on that banner, because I don't have him. Uh, by the way, spoilers, I don't know if it's on the video or not. I did pull the STR Ultimate Gohan, so I finally have him. So it might not be as much of an incentive for me to summon on the Hero Banner if he's going to be there. Especially because now I want that Frieza for my Mono Tech team. For Super Battle Road. But he does. Raise attack and defense causes immense damage to the enemy. Passive skill. Super Saiyan for starters. Attack and defense plus 80%. Reduces damage received by 20%. Then he transforms, obviously. He also has fierce battle. Oh, and because he's Super Saiyan, he has... Wow, oh, awesome. He's part of Realm of Gods. He's part of Super Saiyan 3. Wow, the, oh, he's so broken. Pure Saiyans and full power. That's so cool. This guy, this guy is on all the freaking awesome, awesome teams. Oh, yes. Uh, and that damage reduction is pretty cool. Um, I don't think it's going to be too game-breaking, though. When he goes Super Saiyan 2, he attack plus 90%, defense plus 60%, reduces damage received by 22%. Um, okay, not bad. Super Saiyan 3, I wonder if Super Saiyan 3... Yes, his, his it does... Oh, so wait, that's interesting. Is his link skills, did Frieza's link skills change? I'm going to have to double-check on that. He gets over in a flash at Super Saiyan 3, so that's pretty awesome. I think everything else... So he loses prepared for battle and goes to over in a flash. All right. Uh, attack plus 100%, defense plus 40%, re uh, reduces damage received by 23%, transforming conditions are met. Uh, not bad, not bad. Uh, Super Saiyan Blue, he, he still contains over in a flash, which is awesome. Um, I think he's gonna, con I don't know what this one's gonna be. Uh, attack plus 110%, defense plus 20%, reduces damage by 24%. Uh, I don't know about that, that damage reduction. I love the artwork, though. That artwork's beautiful. I love it. I do love it so much. Um, and then when he goes Super Saiyan Blue, oh, he keeps over in a flash. All right, cool. So he does have over in a flash. Realm of God, Super Saiyan, yeah, everything's the same. Attack plus 120%, reduces damage received by 25%, key plus 12, 100% chance to perform a crit only once. Uh, not bad, He's, this is actually a really good unit. I still prefer the Super Saiyan God art over the Super Saiyan Blue, but this is a really, really nice card. Uh, man, that's, that's so difficult because, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of the transformations and how they work, but I think the concept's awesome, and uh, yeah, I really do want the Frieza, though. Uh, but let's see, it does he... What, what changes here? Does anything change? Prodigies, big bad bosses? No. Oh, I know. So this one does have metamorphosis, which is interesting. Um, so prodigies, metamorphosis, big bad bosses, universe most malevolent. Um, yeah, so he just in, he replaces prodigies for metamorphosis in the third one, which is interesting. And then metamorphosis goes away and he goes back to prodigies. That's actually interesting. So that, that's actually pretty damn cool. I do like that. But, uh, whatever, uh, Prodigy's never gonna really come into, into play. Um, in terms of the JP, they got the same data download, so that's pretty damn awesome. Uh, there are super techs, so I'm not gonna go over them in this video, I don't really I don't think it warrants it. Uh, I just can't wait to see what happens with this and when these are gonna get released. Uh, we can go over here really quick and, to, and do it, uh, jpn.dbz.space, maybe they have some dates in here? Nah, there's no dates in here. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty damn awesome. Alright, well, uh, that's what's going on, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, I'm super hyped. Uh, I can't wait for this to happen. I am definitely going to be summoning on these banners. Again, I'm going to have to wait to see what is on what. Again, if you've watched my video to this point, 13 minutes in, do not use your red stone or purple stone until these banners come out because we don't know what's going to be on them. <coughs> red stone, I don't think you got to worry about too much, but definitely wait. Just wait to see what happens. You might get something good. Plus, remember on this, you should be getting the tickets for the actual banner for, uh, for the ticket banner. So you still may pull something from the redstone on that banner. So uh, that's what's probably going to happen with the, when it comes to the summons. So just stay tuned for that. Uh, I'll probably put a separate little disclaimer video out for tomorrow morning as soon as I wake up to say that. But uh, yeah, guys, anyway, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.